I think the personal biases that we bring to the mountains are one of the most dangerous things that we have. We have really two things that we're constantly worried about. Subjective hazards and objective hazards. Objective hazards are things that are always there. Avalanches, cliffs, rockfall. Subjective hazards are things we bring. Uh, our fitness, our skill set, uh, our knowledge of the area. One of the things that we bring that's a hazard is bias. There are a lot of different kinds of biases that we can bring to the mountains, and many of them are hazardous. But today I want to talk about one, the non-event feedback loop. The idea of the non-event feedback loop is that if you did something once and got away with it, you're probably okay, right? If you place that cam wrong and didn't fall on it, it was never tested. So an event didn't happen to test the cam. If I built that anchor wrong and I didn't lean on it, it's probably okay. So the non-event feedback loop is this bias that is built by believing that we're doing something the right way because nothing's happened to test us. Nothing's happened to show us that we're maybe not doing something the right way. We use this a lot in avalanche education. Oh, that guy over there, he skied that slope. It's not going to avalanche. It'll be fine, right? I'm going to go ski it even though I know the report for Avalanche today is bad. One of the best ways for us to live a long life in the mountains is to be introspective and to realize that maybe we've done some things wrong in the past. We got away with it. Maybe we brought friends out and did something wrong and got away with it. That can be embarrassing. It can be painful to think that. But if we can accept that we've made mistakes and that we got away with it, if we can be open to feedback and learning, um, then, you know, we'll have a much longer life in the mountains.